Welcome to this short presentation from the GRADE Working Group. My name is Monika Hultkrans and I will give an overview on considering the degree of contextualization when rating the certainty of evidence using GRADE. And this overview is based on concepts and guidance from the following references. So when we rate the certainty of evidence for an individual outcome, we are rating how certain we are that the true effect lies within a particular range or on one side of a threshold. And this means that it's important that authors of systematic reviews, health technology assessments and guidelines specify the thresholds or ranges that they are using. And this is important because it can affect the certainty ratings and it will also affect how we interpret the results. There are approaches for setting these thresholds or ranges that can have different degrees of contextualization. And with this, we mean the degree of value judgments regarding the importance of an outcome. If we use the minimally contextualized approach, we are rating our certainty that an effect or an important effect is or is not truly present. So this means that we're using the no effect threshold or a threshold for a minimally important difference. If we use the partially contextualized approach, we take a step further in specifying the magnitude of the effect. We rate our certainty that the true effect in this outcome is trivial, small, moderate, or large. And the range is set for these magnitudes of effect will depend on the importance we place on this particular outcome. If we use the fully contextualized approach, we are rating our certainty that the true effect is above or below a threshold for decision making. And this threshold is set considering all other important and critical outcomes and consequences and their associated values and preferences. So we're basically asking ourselves, given everything we know about all other outcomes, what do we require from this individual outcome for us to want to recommend the intervention? And all of these thresholds and ranges, besides the null effect threshold, should be set using absolute effects. And I will now illustrate these approaches using a simple figure. In the middle here, you see the no effect threshold. To the left, you see effects that favor the intervention and to the right, effects that favor the control. And in red, we illustrate a pooled estimate. So if we're using the minimally contextualized approach, we're either using the no effect threshold, and in this example, we would then be rating our certainty that we have an effect in this outcome without specifying the magnitude of this effect further. Or we would be using thresholds for a minimally important difference. And in this example, we would be rating our certainty that we have an effect larger than trivial. If we would use the partially contextualized approach, we would also have set thresholds for a small, moderate, and large effect. And these ranges would be set depending on the importance we place on this outcome. And in this example, we would be rating our certainty that we have a small effect in this outcome. If we would use the fully contextualized approach, we would have set a threshold for decision-making considering all other important and critical outcomes and consequences. And in this example, we would be rating our certainty that the effect in this outcome is not large enough for us to want to recommend this intervention. So we have approaches for rating certainty using different levels of contextualization. We have the minimally contextualized approach where we use the null effect or the minimally important difference. We have the partially contextualized approach where we specify magnitudes of effect, trivial, small, moderate, and large. And the fully contextualized approach for decision-making where we set thresholds considering all other important and critical outcomes and consequences. 
all thresholds besides the null effect should be set using absolute effects. And it's important to specify the thresholds used because they can affect the ratings and the interpretation and use of the results. And here you have the references again, in case you're interested in reading more about these concepts or seeing some more examples. Thank you so much for listening.